Hi guys and welcome back to a new video. In today's video, I will be talking about the top 10 best dungeons in order to make some gold in World of Warcraft. Before I start diving into this list, just a few things you want to take into consideration when farming dungeons. First of all, you want to play the best class in terms of mobility. These are going to be druids, rogues, and also sometimes demon hunters and monks. If you want to increase your speed, all you want to do is always get these bear tartars or any food buffs that can help you increase your speed. You also might consider to just get some armor pieces that have some speed bonuses, so really try to build a speed set. If you are not playing on a rogue, what you want to do is get some of these like lock picking keys before. These can be bought on the auction house or you can craft them directly with blacksmithing. Like that, you will be able to open all the chests in the different dungeons you're farming. Also, try to really empty your inventory. You don't want to have a lot of items because otherwise it's going to be very annoying when you're getting a lot of items. Also, if you are not playing a class that can actually zone out of the dungeon and then come back, all you want to do is when you are in the dungeon, you want to create a group in custom search and then you want to leave the group and like that in a little bit less than one minute you will be able to directly exit the dungeon and then you can come back and reset so let's start with number 10 at number 10 we have a dungeon from battle for azeroth the waycrest manor so this dungeon is not really the best when it comes to gold making but there is only one occasion where you really want to go and farm this dungeon basically once every maybe two months there is a world quest that will spawn called the witchy chicken and all you want to do is enter the dungeon when this quest is active and then you want to go in the kitchen and you want to like see all these three ads that are linked to the world quest you want to like attack them don't kill them and then normally at some point they will spawn two items on the ground and when you combine both you will be able to spawn like this chicken and it will give you a quest and when completing this quest, you will then be able to get a pet, the vengeful chicken that you can then sell on the auction house for quite a lot of gold. After that, at number 9, we're going to have the Hellfire Rampart Dungeon from Burning Crusades. This dungeon is very interesting because you can basically do it just by staying at the entrance of the dungeon. All you want to do is get a class that can actually aggro the mobs that are on top, and then all these mobs will go down and they will pull all the rest of the dungeon for you. So then you just want to kill all the mobs, go out and reset. And this is really something that you can do on many, many different classes. As you can see here, I was doing it on a warrior. With this dungeon, you will have a chance at getting some of the rare BOEs from the Burning Crusade, including some of the blue and epic BOEs. And of course, also you will be able to have a chance at getting some of the rare recipes the best one being the Fell Steel Long Blade, but all the recipes and plants are very interesting. So this is really a good dungeon to do that. You will also receive some blue like and green items, but these are not really what we're focusing on. You will also get some of the Mark of Sargeras and Fell Armaments and all these other items linked to uh, the reputation of the Burning Crusades. So really try to keep these and to sell them on the auction house. And also you want to keep the Corium and over lockboxes because with these you will be able to get some additional items. But again, keep in mind this is extremely rare to get some of these rare BOEs and world recipes. So this is something that unfortunately will take a lot of time and this is why I'm only putting it at number 9. After that, at number 8, we're going to have three other dungeons from Burning Crusade. This time it's the Setex All, the Shadow Labyrinth and Mana Tombs. So the best ones are going to be Shadow Labyrinth and Mana Tombs. All you want to do is run these dungeons in normal mode and then really kill all the boss, all the mobs and then come back. For these once again, what we're after are all the different rare recipes and the rare BOEs. So this is again something that really will take some time before you get anything really good. You want also to try and do it on a miner because you will be able to like mine some different corium veins and elemental veins. And you also, of course, want to get some of the lockpicking keys because you might be able to find some interesting chests in the dungeon. And finally, again, you want to keep all the different uh, items linked to the different reputations of 
uh, the running preset, and you also want to keep all the different log boxes. Also, if possible, you want to do StatX all with a lever worker because you have a chance at getting the pattern uh, for the styling crimson hats, and this is a transmog that you can then sell honestly for a lot of gold. After that, at number seven, we're gonna have Uldaman. This is a dungeon from Vanilla Wo. So this dungeon is a little bit long. So what I would recommend you is to follow this route. Basically, you really want to try and get as many mobs as possible. All you want to do is go until the end of the dungeon. Think about killing the last boss and opening the chest that will appear just after him. And here, I would really recommend you to do the technique where you create a group and leave it so you can then be zoned out of the dungeon because otherwise it takes a lot of time to go back to the entrance. So this dungeon is very interesting because you have some of the most valuable transmogs in the game that can loot from this dungeon. So some good examples are going to be, for instance, the Miner's Hat of the Deep, the Papal Fez, the Pendulum of Doom, or the Jack Hammer. So all these different items are extremely, extremely rare. You will probably need thousands and thousands of runs before seeing even one. But you also have a lot of over interesting transmog PCs, uh, some that are still worth like hundreds of thousands of gold and can drop a little bit more easily. And you can, of course, also get a lot of the normal like BOEs, green, blue, and epics from Vanilla Wo that can also reward you with quite a lot of gold. So overall, I would say it's a really good dungeon if you want to just get some very good items or just add a lot of items to your auction house and also carry some of the key uh, lock picking keys because you will have some chests and you will be able to then get some valuables items from the chest after that at number six we're gonna have the iron docks so the iron docks is a dungeon that you can find in world of genre for this one what i would recommend is to do it in either mythic or eric version all you want to do is kill all the mobs before the first boss then you want to skip the first boss don't kill him and then you want to go and kill all the mobs that are here until the second boss. And like that, you will have a lot of mobs to kill. And then you can just come back and exit and then reset. So really try to not kill any of the bosses so you can then reset. For this one, all the different items you are after are all the different BOEs from Wall of the Drenner. So you have a lot of uh, blues that can really be worth a lot of gold, especially all the different weapons. You also have like some epic BOEs that can really be worth a lot. So for instance, the Black, Black Rock Bulwark is one of the best examples. And you also, of course, will get a lot of the green BOEs that can also be sold for a lot of gold. After that, at number five, we will have the Pit of Saren dungeon from Wrath of the Lich King. So for this one, it's very easy. All you want to do is run the dungeon in Eric. You want to kill all the mobs that are around this big pit. So really just try to gather everything and kill all of them. Please do not kill any of the bosses because otherwise you won't be able to reset the dungeon. And the items we're after for these dungeons only drop in Eric difficulty. So this is something you can really do normally on any classes because you can be mounted when doing the farm. So this is really good. In terms of the items we're after, of course, you will be able to get a lot of the different BOEs from Wrath of the Lich King. But the two items we really want are the Battered Yields. These are two quest items that you can then sell on the auction house and people can then get the quest that will reward you with an achievement and with a set of transmog items and weapons. So this is something really interesting and that I would always recommend you to have on your auction house. Also, it's important to note that there is one Alliance version and one Horde version, so I would encourage you to do it on both a Horde character and an Alliance character, because like that, you will be able to sell two different items. After that, at number four, we're going to have the Blackrock Death Dungeon from Vanilla Wu. So for this one, really, there is not like a best route. What I would recommend you to do is kill all the mobs that are on the left, then either come back to the middle and kill all the mobs that are in the middle, or you can also follow the path after that and just go and kill all the mobs that are around. What I would recommend to do here is really not go until the end of the dungeon because then it takes a little bit too much time. Really try to focus on the first few rooms and places and like that you will already get a lot of mobs to kill. So here there are really a lot of different items and things we're after. Of course you have access to all the different World BOEs from Vanilla Wo, so you really have a lot of weapons, for instance, Destiny, uh, the Nightblade, Blade of Ana, all these different items. 
Next to that, you have a few more things that can be very interesting, and they are specific to uh, the Black Rock Death, so some very good transmog linked to this dungeon in particular. You will also have two other things that are very interesting. First of all, it will drop some of the patterns for the Black Dragon Scale sets, so this is something you can either sell on the auction house, or you can then use the recipe and craft all these different transmog items. Very, very good. You will also have Loctos Dark Banner. He is in the middle of the dungeon and basically he will give you all the recipes in order to craft some very, very valuable transmog armor pieces and weapons from Vanilla Wo. So this is extremely good. And he will also reward you if you're doing like a quick quest. I made a video on that with the recipe to craft the famous, uh, armor for, uh, the Sulfras, the Sulfras armor. And this is something that really you can make a lot of gold with, so definitely valuable. And the last thing I want to mention from this dungeon is actually the Relic Coffer Key. So you will get a lot of these keys when doing the run. What you need to do is before exiting the dungeon, you want to go at the entrance and use this teleporter. You want to go to the refuge. And then in just one minute, you will be in this room where you will be able to like open all these different chests using these different keys and like that you can get if you are lucky a uh, like gray item that you can then either sell on the auction house or use in order to craft the topaz bubble worm pet this is a pet linked to shadowlands and this is really something that will make you also a lot of gold again for this one it's very important that you carry uh like lock picking keys and you will also get a lot of uh, lock boxes that you want to keep after that, we will have the lower Black Rock Spire. So for this one, it's very similar to Black Rock Death. It's all the different transmog that you can get from Vanillawo that can drop from this dungeon. And this is something that you can really run pretty easily. Again, you really want to have all the different uh, lock picking keys and everything in order to open the different chests. And you want to also keep all the different uh, lock boxes that you will get. The one item really that drops the most in this uh, dungeon or that actually is the best drop is going to be the Skull Flame Shield. So this is a really good shield that you can then sell for a lot of gold and this is really what you're after when doing this uh, dungeon. But again, you will also have a chance at getting all the rare uh, BOEs from Vanilla Wo. So really a good dungeon and very easy to do. Now at number two, we're going to have the Moverload. The Moverload is another dungeon from Battle for Azeroth, and this is a very interesting dungeon because even if you don't have a lot of transmog items or valuable items from this dungeon, you can get the recipe in order to craft the engineering mount, the Mecha Mogul MK2, which is very valuable. So all you want to do is really run the dungeon. You don't want to kill any of the bosses or of the mobs. I would recommend you to do that on a Ventier character because you can use Door of Shadows to really skip a big part of the dungeon. And then you want to go to the last part, kill the last boss, and then just exit the dungeon. So this is extremely easy to do. It should normally take you two or three minutes per run. What you want to do first is do this run in mythic mode, because in order to get the recipe, you need to kill the boss in mythic mode. So get a character that has engineering, and then you want to go and try and get this recipe. Once you get the recipe, and it of course can take a little bit of time, you want to upgrade a little bit your Earth of Azeroth, and then you want to craft one of the goggles that you can craft with engineering in order to get the specific uh, buff from the goggles that will increase your engineering by 30. So this is very important because without that, you won't be able to get all the items you need in order to craft the mount. Once you have these two items equipped on you, you want to go and again run the dungeons in normal mode. So just go to the last boss. And then each time the last boss will drop two of the last fire electric servo motors and over items. And so you need in total to kill the last boss 10 times in order to get all the different items you need in order to craft the mount. So normally in like half an hour or a little bit more, you should be able to craft one mount, which can sell for on many realms more than 150 k gold. So this is really good and something that will always make some gold. And after that, at number one, we're going to have Zulfarak. Zulfarak is another dungeon from Vanilla Wo, and this is, in my opinion, the best dungeon in order to really get a lot of valuable transmog items from Vanilla Wo. So this dungeon is very easy. All you want to do is really run around, kill all the mobs. You can even kill the bosses, and then you want to exit the dungeon, reset, and like that, you will be able to really kill a lot of mobs. 
So here we are really after all the rare transmog items from Vanilla Wu, especially all the different greens such as the Glorious sets. We also have the Jade sets. Uh, you have like a lot of these different sets that can really be sold for a lot of gold. You can also get, of course, the blue and epic BOE. So this is really something very complete. And I would definitely recommend you to do that if you're like new at gold making or if you want to really get a lot of items to post on your auction house. This is by far the best dungeon from Vanilla Wo with all the different transmog items that you can get that are the most valuable. So I would definitely recommend you to do that. And this is why, in my opinion, it's going to be my number one. So that's going to be pretty much it for today's video. Of course, there are many other dungeons that I haven't really mentioned and that I'm sure can also be very interesting, but I had to make a choice. And these are really the 10 dungeons I wanted to talk about in today's video. I will be back very soon with more guides and more videos. But in the meantime, I wish you all a great week. Bye.